Question, should I edit my photographs? Well, I've got an answer for you. Stay tuned, let's talk about it. Hey guys, Tony with 319 Photography, 319photography.com. Let's jump into this question about editing your photographs. So there's some different sides to this coin. And there's one side that says, no, no, gosh, no, you shall not edit your photographs. It must be pure straight out of the camera. And then there's another side that says, Okay, I'm going to manipulate this image far beyond anything that was real when I took it uh, to create a piece of work. And then there's the middle road that says, yeah, I'm going to edit a little bit, but I'm not going to stray from reality too much. Well, let me tell you, all three sides and everything in between is, is, is right, right? It's fine if that's what you choose to do. But if you're asking yourself, should I edit my photographs? Is there anything wrong with editing my photographs? The answer is absolutely yes, you should. And no, there's nothing wrong with editing your photographs. I am not a purist by any means. I don't subscribe to that camp. And most of the most famous photographers that exist didn't subscribe to that line of, of thought either. Uh, guys, editing your photographs has been a part of photography, part of the process uh, since really photography was a thing. So let's, let's dial it back a little bit. Let's go back in history some. So when I got into photography and I was studying photography and I was, I was you know, kind of trying to find my own style, uh, one of the people that influenced that greatly was Ansel Adams. And that, that may be cliche because every landscape photographer you know, has to, I think it's a rule, you have to love Ansel Adams if you're a landscape photographer. Uh, but, you know, I got into to researching him pretty hot and heavy and, and learned a lot about him and a, and a great deal about his style and his processing style. So, of course, Ansel Adams shot on film. He shot on different formats of film. Uh, and he developed his prints in a darkroom. And for those of you who maybe you're maybe you're not old enough to remember uh, what a darkroom is, uh, that was a place where you'd literally develop your photographs. And it was it's actually a pretty cool experience to to have to process the, the film and develop the film and then put the film inside an enlarger and then set your composition from there, you know, as far as do you want to, do you need to level something out? I mean, there's a million and a half different things you could do. Uh, but it was a ton of fun to create the image, right? And, you know, once you, once you put the, the film in an enlarger, uh, you'd shine light through the film down onto your photo paper for a prescribed amount of time. And then you'd take that, that piece of what looks like at that point blank paper that you just burn light into, into uh, processing, chemical processing trays that would, as you moved it from tray to tray to tray, it would develop the image. Now, that all seems simple and relatively rudimentary and it doesn't seem like you have a lot of options to do things uh, inside that process but you did right you had a lot of things um, the first two that people are more familiar with is is dodging and burning and that's a process of blocking or allowing more of that light that's shining down through that negative onto that piece of paper so I'm going to put up here, I want you to take a look at uh, Ansel Adams' image, uh, Moonrise, right? It's one of his, one of his famous images. Uh, he took it in 1941. And here is the straight print, right? This is exactly what he photographed. And you can see right now, it doesn't look like it's that great, really. I mean, it looks 
looks a little washed out. It doesn't have a lot of contrast. But let's take a look at the final image. There it is. So now you tell me. How good was Ansel Adams in the dark room? He was great, right? In, in fact, uh, one of the books he wrote, The Print by Ansel Adams, uh, he details a lot of his dark room techniques, which exceeded just simple dodging and burning, guys. Uh, there was a ton of stuff that he did in a dark room and processes that he developed. I mean, he was a master of the dark room. So he was a master of the camera and photography, but he was also a master of developing the print. So in today's day and age, you know, we don't, there's not very many people use dark rooms anymore. And, and frankly, uh, if I could convince my wife to build an extra room on the house, uh, I could, I would love to use a dark room. In fact, I've got the equipment to do it. Uh, but most of us are live in the digital world. So we use, uh, software like Photoshop and Lightroom to develop our images. And there's nothing wrong with that. There is absolutely nothing wrong with that. I've said it before, I'll say it again, photography is art and photographers are, are artists. So, you know, taking your image into Lightroom or into Photoshop and developing it, it's okay. There's nothing wrong with it. If you shoot in JPEG, right, or if you shoot with your phone a lot, and I know a lot of phones these days are allowing for the raw option, uh, that JPEG image is pre-processed. That's why there's different shooting styles uh, on your camera, right? You can get vivid, you can, you know, all these different options. Uh, it's because it's pre-processing your image. So it's already been processed, right? Most of the time you take your, an image with your iPhone or your uh, Android, uh, it gets pre-processed. So it's already edited. That being said, when you go out and shoot, right? I am by no means saying you shouldn't get things right in camera and then rely on post-processing. That's not what I'm saying. Yes, you need to be good at your craft in the field. But when you take that image home to your computer, you need to be good at that side of it too. Right? So I'll be the first to tell you, yeah, my images go through Lightroom and they go through Photoshop first. That is the art that I want to create. I have my own style and I don't think there's anything wrong with doing it. So if you're starting out in photography or somebody's telling you, hey, you should not edit your photographs. I'm going to tell you it's okay, right? You can edit your photographs. Uh, the masters, they edit their photographs. It's okay. So if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Please share it. Give us a comment. Tell us what you think. Do you process your images and what, it, what programs you use to do it? Until next time. Later.